Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 34. This is going to be our last episode on quaternions. We're going to be looking at splines, or squad, and finally just discussing a few advantages and disadvantages of using quaternions. So a squad, or a spherical quadrangle, it's going to be used so we can trace out a path between points and we have a sequence of more than two orientations which we want to interpolate. So it's kind of a mouthful, so if you think about if you have two quads, we know how to go between them already, but if you have four different quads and you want to make a path, how are you going to find the intermediary values between those so that it doesn't look like a jagged back and forth uh, type of direction? So we're going to have uh, control points be between the quaternions, and the way they're going to be used is uh, based on the quads before and after the ones that we're checking. So if we have Q1, Q2, all the way up to n, we'll have this helper quaternion si, which will be in between, uh, which is defined by this formula here. Um, note s1 and the n, sn, will be uh, undefined because we are checking for the, the next one and the previous one. So obviously there's nothing before s1 or s2, so um, for s1 and sn, they will be undefined. So there's nothing before and after that. So um, basically, this to compute it, we're going to be using the formula down here. So when we have four adjacent control points, the squad is used to compute the interrelation between the middle two, so between these two values right here. So if the parameter is between 0 and 1, squad formula is equal to multiple slurps uh, formula from the previous episode but for qi and qi plus 1, and then also si, si plus 1, and then the slurp of those values. And then taking the 2t, 1 minus t. So it's a kind of a, a lot to get into. Um, it's recommended to me recently to get some code examples and some uh, Canvas examples. I will be looking into trying to do that uh, soon. Um, in the meantime, uh, we'll just stick with the heavy math. I apologize for that, uh, but we'll do it soon. So uh, some advantages and disadvantages of using quaternions. They're going to have super smooth interpolations, like before. They're great for concatenation for angular displacements and inversion of angular displacements. Fast conversion to and from the matrix form, and there are only four numbers. Disadvantage is it's still the extra number. It makes it 33% bigger than Euler ang angles, not angels. And it can become invalid, by uh, which you can try to overcome by normalizing. And they're a little difficult for humans to understand. So uh, again, uh, apologies that I don't have great uh, working examples yet, but we will get around to that soon. Uh, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe and share. Give it a like. Go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one. Thanks.